Good morning, my name is Julie and I'm from So Unique and I'd like to welcome you to day 21 of my August book. Um, today, what am I doing? I'm at work today so I've got a few jobs to do in the shop and um, I've got a few more bags of yarn to get out on the shelf and price some fabric up. Um, but then I'd like to do the applique, get the applique cut out and I'm going to try and do a little bit of work on the felt penguin. Um, then when I finish work I'm off to the hairdresser I'm going to have my hair cut today which I'm looking forward to doing. Just enjoying a nice cup of Yorkshire tea this morning before I go to work and I'll see you later on. And I'm in the shop now and I've had a busy morning unpacking some yarn and fabric. The yarn's all on the shelf now, I've just got the fabric to do and it's just panels for I think it's advent calendars, stocking bunting and things like that. But I thought I'd show you some of the new yarn because this is new to me. Um, I've got the West Yorkshire Spinners. It's the Croft Shetland Colours. And these are in Hanks. And these are lovely. And it's a 100% Shetland Island wool. And it feels really nice. I mean, I'm not a wool woolly wool person but I do like this and also there's a book to go with it which is uh, all on well practically all on colour work and the one thing I do I do fancy doing is the hat so if I can find it it's hat and gloves there we go that hat and those fingerless gloves and that's gorgeous. I've only had a go at colour work once and it wasn't a brilliant success. I mean it wasn't too bad. I made a, a Tetris hat for my grandson and the inside of my work looked really neat or really good there but I hadn't done it the correct way because little bits of the stranded colours were showing on the front. But I'd, I really would quite like to do that. And there's some lovely jumpers in here and cardigans that's one of the jumpers which I'm not really a jumper person or a card person at the minute not for knitting anyhow what else is there? there's a, a hat and scarf for a man which that looks nice the pattern doesn't look too complicated and it's the pattern's written and there's a chart as well, if you want to follow a chart. And there's that. And there's a few more items in there, but I think it looks really nice. And also I've got in some of the Chunky Roving Retreat yarn. I've got four colours in that, which is lovely. And that's a, like I say, that's a chunky yarn and there is actually one pattern to go with that so I just now need to tidy up a little bit I think I'm going to have a cup of tea and a snack um, and then I'll start on the, the fabric
and I've finished cutting out the applique shapes so I've got 16 all together so when I get home today I'm going to lay the quilt out and place the applique shapes on the quilt to see if I've got enough and if I haven't I'll uh, get some more cut tomorrow and this is the progress I've made on my penguin um, I've now stuffed stuffed the body I just need to sew the bottom up um, I've got the wings cut out the feet the little heart and the beak so that should keep me busy for a little while so I'll share my progress tomorrow well, I'm back from the hairdressers and I've got an awful headache my own fault really I didn't have any lunch today and I've next nothing for breakfast and I get a bit carried away with my sewing and making things and I just forget to eat some days so I'm sat down now nice cup of tea and I've got some peanut butter on toast on sourdough bread so I'm going to have that and I think I'm going to see if I can catch up on some podcasts for about half an hour before I get on with something else I'll see you in a bit. Well, this is my view for the evening. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done. Uh, I've still got a headache, so I don't think I'll be stopping in my craft room too long. But I'm going to try and get a few done. We've laid all the rag quilt out, the applique pieces have been ironed on, I've made a start on sewing but as I'm feeling a bit off it today I've decided not to bother and continue tomorrow because I need to concentrate. Um, but you can see, if I can move the camera back, see how short the quilt shrinks when you've stitched all your squares together. But I really like the fabric, I like the applique and I think it's going to look really nice when it's made up. And let's have a look. My favourite is this one with the pumpkin on and this, this fabric with the trees on. And I think what I'm going to do is make some project bags with applique pumpkins on and leaves on in different autumny fabrics and toasters as well. I do like the toaster as well. So I think this is going to keep me busy for well at least another week. But once all the applique has been stitched on um, it'll 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 come together pretty quickly and then it'll be all the snipping. 
and as soon as we started to put the squares down on the carpet um, Charlie had to come in and then Tabby came in he's not on camera and then we've had Elsa in as well they all like to to get on the the fabric when there's something new and we've sort of got a pattern in here we've got three appliques on every other row and there's one here this leaf one which i like but i'm going to take that panel out and re just get rid of that leaf because it's it sort of spoilt it a bit but this was the tester strip so it's it not take long to do that that's the toadstool which looks really nice i like the fabric for that one and that's the maple leaf which i think has turned out really well Right, Adele has just found these out. She made them a couple of years ago and didn't know what to do with them. So, as I said, I was going to make some project bags. I thought I might put these on the zip pulls. Now, the toe stools are fine. I mean, they're made out of Fimo and they're nice. But the pumpkins, I'm not sure what, what we'll do with these because if you can see these little green bits they're quite delicate and I think they're going to break so I'm not really sure what to do with them but the toadstools are nice they're too big for progress keepers or stitch markers but I think they'll be perfect to go as zip pulls so once I've made some bags I'll just see how they look and then if they're okay, I'm going to pop them in my Etsy shop. Well, I'm going to call it a day now. It's getting late and I need to get something to eat. So I'd just like to say thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the vlogs. And if you'd like to see anything in particular, please drop me a message down below. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.